Hey guys, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will walk you through all the main electric guitar string types. Welcome to a new studio. This is what I've spent my Christmas holiday on, so um, I really hope you like it more than the old one. Today, I will cover the main electric guitar string types, how they feel under the fingers and how they sound. And later on in the video, I will talk about string gauges too. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Please keep in mind that the strings I'm showing in this video are only examples of their kind. You can get nearly all types of strings from all manufacturers. The first string type is nickel plated steel, just like these earnable slinkies. These are the modern standard electric guitar strings. They have a well-balanced sound and you will find these on almost all new electric guitars when you try them in a the store or when you buy them. I'll take nickel plated steel strings as standard in today's video as well and compare all the other strings to these ones. Next, coated strings. These are basically normal nickel plated steel strings, but with a protective coating. Pros, this will extend the lifespan of the strings immensely because they don't corrode for a long time. Cons, coated strings sound different. You won't get that open snappy sound of non-coated strings. Truth be told, some prefer this sound. So it's just a matter of taste as pretty much everything regarding strings anyhow. <laughs> Next, hardened strings. The two most beloved ones are the Paradigms from Ernie Ball and the NYXLs from the Dario. These will last longer than normal strings, but they're not coated. Every company has their own method to achieve that extra sturdiness. And what's up with the sound? Well, expect a little more treble and punch from the NYXLs, and the Paradigms sound pretty much the same as normal Ernie Ball slinkies. Pros, as told, they last longer than normal strings and you don't have to worry about breaking strings whilst bending. Cons, they are more expensive than normal strings and they are not coated, so they will not keep their brand new sound throughout their lifetime. Next, cobalt strings. If you just cannot have enough output from your guitar, these are probably the right strings for you. The blend of cobalt and iron makes it even more magnetic than nickel or steel, so your guitar will have more output. Pros, it's great for high gain players and for people who just want a more punchy sound. Cons, it's probably not the best choice for players with a fable for subtle playing styles. Next, stainless steel strings. These have a really bright sound and a little less output than nickel plated steel strings. They also feel a little less smooth under the fingers. It's a good choice for heavy players because it doesn't get too muddy if you tune real low. <laughs> Next one, pure nickel strings, like these DRs. These sound a little rounder, so it's a great choice for warmer sounds. Don't get me wrong, they don't sound dull or anything like that, it's just a subtle difference. <laughs> These DR strings also have a round core, which means that unlike most modern strings, the core wire is round instead of hexagonal. What does that mean? 
hex core strings will be stiffer, will sound brighter, and will corrode a little faster due to air between the hexagonal core wire and the wound wire around it. Round core strings will sound warmer, will have a little less attack, and they will last longer due to less corrosion. They're also a little easier to bend. Next, flat wounds, like these domestic jazz swing strings. If you're into jazz or blues and you like warm and pleasant sounds, you might be enjoying flat wound strings a lot. They're obviously not the best choice for tight, distorted playing styles. There are people with nickel or steel allergy. Worry not, you can also get gold strings. These ones, for example, from Optima, are safe for all those who cannot use the normal strings. String gauges. This is probably the most subjective part of this whole subject. Everyone prefers a different feel and there is no right or wrong. Standard string gauges for electric guitars are 9s and 10s, which refers to the thinnest string's thickness in inches. That's 9 or 10 thousandth of an inch. Most beginners and shredders prefer 9s and most blues, rock and funk players stick to 10s or even thicker strings. As told, everyone prefers something else, so you should never feel bad about not using the regular gauges. Which strings will work for low tunings? It very much depends on two things, the guitar's scale length and the player's attitude. As a rule of thumb, you can start with one gauge higher per one full step lower tuning, which means if you play 10s in E standard, try 11s for D and 12s for C standard. This might need some tweaking though, but it's a good starting point. Let me know in the comments what kind of strings you play and why. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. They also feel a little less smooth under the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> sink. Use your brain and sink. <laughs>